Merry Christmas to the Romans. Time to put your sweater. Good boy, Romans. Good dog. You're so cute. So we're doing a white elephant gift exchange at our Christmas party. It's with our international family. Spoiler alert, this is like a spray hand sanitizer and some kind of like shower aroma thingy and a face mask which I was like, I think that's a good gift, so it might get deceptively small. Maybe people think it's like random crap from the house. This is also an actually good gift. This is an electric mixer, which I'm proud of that because there's a $15 limit, and this was exactly $15. I thought that was so useful when someone got me that, so I'm pumped to give that to someone. And lastly, this enormous bag is a backup gift because the leader said we would bring extras, which is just my old clothes. Honey, you're so cute. Ramen, okay. Ramen, ooh. Ramen. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so touch the green thing then. This one looks interesting. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I like a headband. Oh, yeah. And a bunch of candy. Nice. Candy? No. Honey. Candy. A nail. Nail pile. So I can pile my nails. Oh, and my, for my wow. feet, look at that. This was you! It was me. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good spicy cat. Oh. Milk tea. Oh. What is that? Oh. 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 This is nice. Oh. The what? Okay. Two-pack mugs with stirrers. Wait, yeah. I got stolen. That's average. yeah. This is those candies for my students. Maybe I'll get this one. Candy. Oh. Okay. There you go. You give that to your students. Oh, look, bean boozled. Oh. Oh. That's great. That's a great. You know why we're here? We're having a Christmas party, and I'm sure a lot of you know a little bit about the Christmas story. But some of you might not, or you maybe you only know like Christmas. We celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jesus is that guy with Christianity. Um, so if that's all you know, then lucky you're here because I'm going to tell you a little bit more of the story. If you've ever looked at the Bible, there's a lot of points in it that like point to Jesus and like prophesy and like predict that he's going to come and what he's going to be like. The Jewish people that were alive before Jesus was born, who had the Old Testament, read that and thought, okay, so some guy's going to come that they call the Messiah, who we know now to be Jesus, but they didn't then but they kind of had a different perception of it. They thought he was going to come and he was going to be like a big military and political leader. And around the time that Jesus was born and came to earth, Israel, the Jewish people, and especially in Jerusalem, was taken over by Rome and the Roman government. At that time, they thought oh, he's probably gonna overthrow Rome. And that's not what happened, you know, the story of Jesus. So Jesus was born to his mother, Mary. And when Mary became pregnant with Jesus, she was a virgin, which, isn't normally how babies come into the world. <laughs> Most of you know that. Um, so God thought he, he would, you know, tell her what was going to happen. So an angel came to Mary and was like, "You're uh, well." First, he's like, "Calm down, don't be afraid," you know, because if an angel came to me, I'd probably freak out. And so he was like, "Don't be afraid, but you're going to be pregnant with the Messiah." In the Bible, and when it talks about her reaction. She doesn't freak out a whole lot. She was probably experiencing a lot of emotion. She accepted what God was assigning her to do. She was uh, going to be married. She wasn't yet, but there was. she was like engaged. People don't usually get pregnant 
by God coming and telling them that they're going to be pregnant. She probably thought that maybe her husband was going, or her soon-to-be husband was going to leave her, which, you know, would have made sense. But an angel came to him too and was like, this, no, she's telling the truth. Like, this was from God. This is, he's going to be the Messiah. Things still got a little hairy. They, uh, a census came and so they had to go on this big long trip, which isn't really fun when you're about to give birth because she was pretty close to giving birth. And they had to go on this big long journey to their hometown. And because she was pregnant, they kind of had to move a little, they were moving slower because, you know, it's harder to walk when you're carrying a baby that's about to pop out of you. I would assume I've never been pregnant. Um, not yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> Mary can get pregnant without having sex, you know. <laughs> but they get to their hometown, and since there was a census and a lot of people were going there, they were probably one of the later people to get there, and so there wasn't room for them at the like the hotel, the inn. There was a barn available. Uh, and again, I haven't given birth, but uh, even back then, when medical technology wasn't like it was now, I assumed that a barn isn't the typical place to give birth. It wasn't where really anyone would expect the Messiah that is going to save the world to be born. And so that's how he was born. It was a miraculous birth, and that's kind of why we celebrate Christmas. But we probably wouldn't celebrate him if it wasn't for what he did after he was born. He came and he lived a perfect life, a poor life. He never became a strong military or political leader, but he was the Messiah. We as Christians believe that he, this was my Jesus puppet, he came to live a life for us, that he loved us and he loved the poor people, the oppressed people, the widows, the orphans, the blind, the deaf, the lame. He came and he lived and he died for us and that's why we celebrate Easter. But Christmas is also an important day because that's when he came to earth and we as Christians also believe that he, as the Son of God, is also divine, just like God. And so that's a day when God, who le left heaven, where everything is perfect, and came down to the broken earth where people suffer, and he came because he loved us and wanted to be with us. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. Woo! Well done. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Would you believe after all we've projected a child in a manger? This year we've waited for. How many kings stepped down from heaven and then from Now he is just completely exhausted from this party.